മദേഴ്സ് ലൗ ഇന്ത്യ വില്ലേജ് നെയ്മഡ് ബാച്ചുപ്പല്ലി ലൂഡിയ വുമൻ നെയ്മഡ് സ്വപ്ന സിൻസ് ഹർ ഹസ്ബൻഡ് പാസ്ഡ് അവ റീസെൻ്റ്ലി ദ റെസ്പോൺസിബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഹർ എയ്റ്റ് ഇയർ ഓൾഡ് സൺ വാസു ഫെലാൻ ഹർ സോ തിങ്കിങ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ഓഫ് ഹർ സൺ ആൻഡ് നോട്ട് ടു സ്റ്റാപ്പ് ലിവിങ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ഹർ ഗ്രീഫ് ഷി ഡിസൈഡ് ടു ഓവർകം ദ ഗ്രീഫ് ഓവർ ഹർ ഹസ്ബൻഡ്സ് ഡെത്ത് ആൻഡ് ടു ബി സ്ട്രാങ് ടു മൂവ് ഫോർവേഡ് ഇൻ ലൈഫ് one day sapna's friend raji comes and says to her sapna i was so worried when i saw you back then uh, however uh, i am very happy to see you become strong in such a short time she expresses her thoughts in words to sapna to which sapna responds not only you dear i haven't thought that i will become courageous and stubborn too but i was worried that my son's future uh, would not be bright if i wallow uh, in my husband's death and i haven't thought of anything else and i have decided not to think about my life that is already ruined and want to bring light to my son's life so i have come to a decision oh yeah i have asked you to uh, look for a job for me um, have you made any progress she asks raji with hope then raji replies with hesitation hmm jab i have indeed looked for a job for you uh, but you do not have certificates right uh, your dad made you uh, quite your studies to get you married right there is a job in a factory as a uh, daily labor uh, start working there for the uh, time being i will look for other good jobs uh, in the meanwhile then swapna says that's okay dear something is better than nothing i am in a situation wherein i am happy to get this opportunity i am not in a position to look for what is good and bad it is important to provide for my son now from the day onwards she started working as a daily labor and with the meager income that she earned she paid for her son's studies and struggled to fulfill his small desires and wishes days passed by her son grew up just like other son vasu too started getting irritated with his mother one day swapna goes to the aunt next door and asks her with hope and uh, how much money uh, did i accumulate with the amount that i have been regularly saving with you uh, around 2 lakhs hmm it should be uh, maybe 10000 less or more uh, but why are you asking about it now haven't you been saving this money for your surgery then swapna replies yes true but this money is now uh, needed not for my surgery but for vasu's job and poor boy he is unable to secure any job in spite of his multiple trials it seems uh, he will get a job if he will complete a course so i am planning to use this money for that course then the aunt scolds swapna what is this crazy idea dear he will get a job if not this then that if not today then tomorrow but is it possible for your surgery to be performed uh, once you cross this uh, particular age and is his job more important than your surgery wait i will talk to him then swapna hurriedly stops her aunt aunt uh, don't do that uh, he isn't uh, no uh, that i have been saying money or uh, that i am sick uh, he will be filled with grief if he comes to know about this she then convinced the aunt and has taken the 2 lakhs of money from her and gave the same to her son after taking the money from her vasu says what is this mom when i have asked you for 3 lakhs if you give me only 2 lakhs what about the other 1 lakh i just cannot understand what kind of mother you are who isn't happy to see her son settle well in life am i asking for this money to buy bikes or for betting like other children mom if i do some course i will get you a job and then we can have a better life am i not asking you money for this reason how can you be so stingy even now oh if i would i have died along with my dad then i would not have had all these troubles 
he winds and leaves the house hearing the words that her son said before leaving the house sapna couldn't control her tears she goes to her room and cries aloud without her son's notice days passed by and sapna borrowed the remaining 1 lakh and gave to her son with which he completed the course then as expected he secured a job in a good company with a good salary however in a different state then unable to part with her son who was leaving for this job sapna was crying within herself and vasu harshly says to her mom are you really my mother i don't feel like leaving you and going however are you not even feeling bad when others said that you stood like a stone i could not comprehend but i did not think that you will become so emotionless in this way misunderstanding his mother he left the village angrily after going to the new place vasu performed extraordinarily well in his job and received appreciation for his work and got promoted level by level as his mother has worked hard to bring him up he used to deposit money in her bank account every month for her needs and expenses on the other hand in the village sapna's health started deteriorating as she was getting older she wanted to talk to him whenever she missed him so whenever she called vasu he used to say oh mom i have deposited money in your bank the money must not have been credited as there are two days of bank holidays now did you have to call me just for this can you not adjust for few days what is this mom you are still the same as always will you not change at all in this way he never asked her why she called him and never inquired about her health and misunderstanding her like always since his childhood he used to disconnect the call after speaking to her days were passing by he fell in love with a woman from his company and got married to her though he did not invite his mother to the wedding he informed her that he got married by sending her some wedding photos after getting married his life changed drastically going around to different places and having fun days passed by without any notice one day lata vasu's wife says to him vasu uh, you always speak about mother in law but why have you uh, never taken me to see her you did not even let me speak to her uh, till now vasu gets irritated and responds oh lata have i not already told you that my mom is a bit old fashioned she speaks about irrelative things hence i speak very less with my mom just because of this how can you leave your mother who gave birth to you like that let's go to your village once we will check on mother in law and come why go to village now lata if you want i will let you speak to her on phone not on phone i will speak to her directly book tickets immediately take me home and introduce me to mother in law that's all as lata was adamant left with no other option he went to his village along with his wife he directly went home after reaching his village he pushed the door open and stepped into his house and there he saw a garland hung around his mom's photo the aunt next door was lighting a small candle near the photo seeing this vasu was shocked vasu asked with tears oh grandmother how did this happen when did this happen why haven't you informed me of mother's death <laughs> then the aunt next door who has been angry with vasu for many years says oh sir did you finally remember your mother after so many years according to you your mother is like a butcher who doesn't love her son right why brother when such a butcher dies you are doing well right a very good job a wife of your choice you are earning salary in lakhs so what need do you have of your mother then after she narrated how terribly he had treated his mother 
how heartful his words were and how swapna who has been living with many hopes on her son has been devastated listening to his hurtful words then his pride and arrogance came down he fell on his knees and cried in front of his mother's photo mom i have committed a blunder please forgive me mom you have sacrificed your life for my future unbeknown to all these things i was under the impression that you did not love me i have done a huge mistake mom <laughs> lata too realized her husband's mistakes and understood her mother-in-law heart after listening to these words and crying for some time the aunt brings a jewelry box from inside and hands it over to vasu while saying here dear with the money that you sent her every month your mother brought a chain for you one for your future child and a long chain for your wife i wanted to tell you something whenever you would come can i go ahead yes grandmother parents would not expect money and luxuries from their sons who are successful in life all they need in a loving greeting a loving touch that's all she then left vasu then realized his misbehavior towards his mom as a son who understood his mother's love only after her death he started dispersing himself if the responsibility of the parents is to provide for their children's studies and needs then expecting love in return from them is their right children who realize this will receive the blessings of their parents and for children who do not realize this will be left with only tears and regret like vasu oh wait please don't just leave after watching the story if you like it please click on the subscribe button press the like and leave the comment and also ring the bell icon loud for more videos